So let's have basic shapes. We're gonna make some interesting shapes and we're making sure that we adhere to the three rules of stylized work. And that is shapes then shapes, don't be boring, and whatever that third one is. <laughs> the rule of cool. <laughs> if it's cool, it doesn't have to make sense. That's the rule of cool, in case anyone's curious. So we're making a, a forward movement. And we're using our hard round brush. And we're changing the size and we're gently pressing for the very light edged effect. So the edges look like it's really kind of fading into nothing because this looks like a, sh a mist coming out of the, the weave of spells. We can have this sort of like double helix situation going on here, increasing in size the farther it goes because it's sort of moving forward a bit, All right? Same with the eraser. We're keeping this in motion. We want this to look like it's being woven from their hands as if it's a, a spell. <laughs> And we're cutting in cool shapes. Don't be boring means we don't like straight lines here. We don't like just ordinary things. We don't want things to be predictable. Being predictable is boring. That is cool. Straight lines is boring. So that's why we erase and brush with the same thing. Let's actually have a cool little, you know, sound effects, very important. And we're chopping into these lines, making them interesting. We don't like boring here. Boring is bad. We don't do boring in this house. Now, one of my favorite things to do, hang on, this is still kind of boring. There we go. One of my favorite things to do is to cut in little circles. You notice how this guy's headpiece has some circle bits. I'm gonna zoom in a bit so we can do this more, more intricate detail. Look how, look how cool that is. Okay, sorry. All right, so we're gonna use our eraser and we're thinking of the flow. Think of the the, uh, the grain of the wood, you could say. Think of the grain of the spell. So this grain goes like so, okay? Or like so, all right? Or even like so. It's got a bit of this, it's got a little bit of everything. So you just pick a direction, or even, or even this one's got some grain to it. Pick a direction, okay? And this is how we're going to erase and we're going to paint. We're going to make this have a movement, right? It's got a flow. See how we've drawn this to have this sort of thing going on here? We're gonna follow along that with everything else we do. We've established this grain, this multi-grain, says Hibiscus. We've established this movement. We've, we've established the direction of the mist. And now we're going to cut into it a bit. And this sort of makes it have that sort of like film to it. Almost like it's bubbling. And we're gonna vary our eraser, even right next to each other. Some's gonna be very light, some's gonna be very dark. Some's gonna be very, very complete erasing. But we don't want it to be boring, right? That's the main point. We do not, do not, at all, ever, never ever, wanna be boring. And remember, what boring would be in this case would be one there, one there, one there, one there. Predictable. Predictable is boring. We don't do boring in this land. So vary the size of these erased bits and amount, almost like bubbles. Now with our brush, I'm predictable, so I guess I'm boring. You're not predictable, 10. Now we're going to thin this brush out to be sort of like a, an actual small strand. And we're gonna gently have it kind of follow along. I don't like it cutting that bubble though. Following along the movement. All right, we're gonna change the size. We don't want these to be too identical. And we don't want too many of them. They're accents. They are just additions. They help tell the story of, of the material. And they can sort of break out. They can break out a little bit, like, like a spider web. So it can go like, you know? See that cool little breakout there? <clears throat> Shadowy Swiss cheese. Yeah, there we go, woof. Now you can also, with the brush, sort of brush along a side of the, the holes that you cut out. And this sort of gives the holes a bit of depth. Once you've drawn it, don't feel bad about erasing it some more, all right? It's all meant to serve a purpose, all of it, every bit of it. You're not gonna hurt its feelings. It's not gonna feel betrayed. 
You're doing your job and it's doing its job. How do you think? What do you like? What do you think? How do you like? How do we think together as one? Now, you can make a new layer, soft brush. I'm gonna drop the opacity and the flow. All right, now, it already has, think? Yeah, man, it's the thing you do with the meat between your ears. Um, it already has a bit of a fade to it, right? So it's got thickness in the middle and it kind of fades off into the sides. So we don't really need any softness to it, but we totally still can, just to give a little extra depth, just a touch. Because it's a different layer, we can erase this stuff, which also gives us another level of depth. All right, we can, we can use our hard brush and erase the, the soft bits if you like, or you can use a soft brush and erase it for added softness. All right, so we have now, that's shadow magic. Grats, you did it. <laughs> so that is the shadow magic tutorial. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to comment them down below. Leave a like if you liked the video, a dislike if you disliked the video, subscribe to see more videos like this, and thank you so much to my amazing patrons and Twitch subs who make these tutorials possible. If you'd like to join these lovely people, you can do so on Thursdays over at my Twitch, link down below, where we go over various tutorials live, and you can ask questions and, and make suggestions live. I'm, I'd be glad to have you, and I'd love to see you. Either way, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.